What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today, it's going to be a different kind of video on my channel. Um, this is pretty much just going over the basics of Mutt. So if you guys have played Mutt all year and you've been watching my videos all year, this isn't the kind of video for you. This is for new people um, who probably haven't watched my channel before. I mean, I feel like most people who watch me are into Mutt. There's a select few that don't, like, that aren't, like, 100% into it and are asking questions and are new to it. So this is mainly for them and the other people who just got uh, Madden for Christmas and are looking to start off their ultimate team. So... First thing that I would do if you just got the game, go to How the Grinch Won Mutt Miss. Do all these solo challenges. Get all of these done. Um, I don't think you have to have them on five stars, but if you can do them on five stars, I would do it. Uh, here's You get a bunch of rewards for this, but these aren't even the, the important rewards. So every single time you finish a sequence of these like solo challenges, you're going to get a chill factor upgrade. And once I go over here to show you guys what the chill factor upgrades are, these are the reasons why you should be doing these solos if you just got the game. So, uh, you're going to go over here. You're going to go to Chill Factor. Chill Factor Rewards. All right, so Tier 1, you are going to get an NAT Snow Beast uh, Fantasy Pack. So, NAT is non-auctionable tradable. When you do solo challenges, the cards they give you are not auctionable and not tradable. So, they're going to be on your team um, for a while. So, you want to pick the ones that are going to benefit you in the long run. So, you're going to pick an NAT card here. It's like Lattimore, Kelsey, Lamar or Eddie Jackson. So whichever one think you think is going to be on your team for the longest, pick him. And then tier two, you're going to get 500 snow. And then tier three, you are going to earn a beast food collectible. And to get the snow beast, they start out at 80 overall and you can get them up to 93. So each time you add a snow beast, they get higher overall. So you need, or each time you add the, uh, what's it called? The beast food. Every time you add a beast food to the card, which is just you click on the card and then go to upgrade and then you're going to throw the beast foods in and their overall is going to get higher. So that's the point of the beast foods and the snow beasts. So that's an easy free 93 overall player. Uh, my cousin did that. He got Lattimore. He's nasty for his team. Um, Yeah, my cousin actually... He, he used to lose all the time online. And then I told him, I was like, dude, do the solos. Do the solos. He finally did them. He picked up Lattimore. He picked up some snow. He did some re-rolls. Got some nice players out of those. And now he's actually, like, winning online. Like, he's winning games online. He went from getting blown out every single time to winning just because of a couple cards he from solos. And he's too stubborn to do all of them. He only did a little bit, and it helped him a lot. So you guys should do all of them. Uh, tier 4, you're in 500 snow. You get an NAT, 93 overall, 0 chill, hero fancy pack. So that's kind of that's a free 93 overall player for your team. Tier 6, 750 snow. Uh, you get uniforms, 750 snow. Uh, extra beast food, so now you're halfway to 93 overall on your snow beast card. You two get a gold player packs. Could pull something really good out of those. My get a golds have been insane lately, so you guys might get really lucky out of that. And then NAT, out of position fantasy pack. So you guys are going to get to pick an out of position player and you can just pick a 93 overall there's 93 overall players that can make your team if you just got the game gonna help you a lot Tier 11 750 snow uh uniforms and a thousand snow another beast food you only got to get one left and then he's 93 overall and then two more get a golds and then nat ghost of madden player so that's going to give you a random player it's just like i'm pretty sure ghost of madden are 88 to 90 96 so you could pull an 88 overall, or you could pull a 96 overall. Or no, right, it's 92 to 94. So you can pull a 92 to a 94 overall. Okay, okay. And then tier 20 comes out soon. Uh, we don't know what the things for those are yet. But if you get up to 20 chill factor, you're going to get a 92, 93 NAT pack. So uh, get those challenges done. Get that chill factor up. Um, another thing that would help you is the 50. If you want to do your 50 challenges, go do them. We're going to be next week. We're going to get a free NAT player. Uh, you can get a free 96 overall player if you do all your challenges. And then if you do the first seven weeks, you're going to be able to get a free up to 93 overall player. Whichever one you pick, whatever one you want to be in your team for the longest, do those. Uh, legends. You can go through and do any of these Legends challenges to get a free power up and sell them on the auction block. Um, so say, where, where are they? Um, let's go all the way down here because some of the old cards are getting good cards again. So... We could go down. Where's it at? See, like Michael Vick and Deion Sanders. They both got 96 overall, the 50 cards. So you want to go in here. I already did the Deion one to get his power up because he's on my team. And um, say you want to get the Michael Vick power up. You can play his legend challenge like this. Boom. Just go in. Uh, put it on one star. Do the challenge. Get his power up and sell it. That's free coins. Not sure the market on him right now, but it's, it's free coins for doing a solo challenge. Just put it on one star. Score. Milk the clock. 
easy coins whenever you want them you could do all of them sell every power up i would hold them until they get good cards like atwater is worth a lot right now um Vic, dion like lawrence taylor is going to so that's that's one way solo challenges solo challenges are huge and then just going over this stuff so a lot of people don't understand like how chemistries work so to go to chemistries you're going to want to go to just click on whatever card you want um go to upgrades and then you're going to go down here to chemistries and positions so to unlock this you're going to want to either power up your card or just pay the little five training thing if you don't power them up but you're going to go down to chemistries uh i just went through and changed my chems i i went ravens chem even though i'm a browns fan um so rod woodson's getting a boost dion's getting a boost um uh Kenyon, no not Kenyon drake uh ogden uh ed reed i have a bunch of ravens players on my team so that's why i want ravens chem it's gonna help me a lot when you have a lot of players from one team you can get uh that chemistry up and it's gonna give overall boost to your players because i have people comment say how do you make their overalls blue um how do i get my sam mills upgraded that's something else i have to go over the sam mills and andre johnson and team captains so on lockdown say like this is the chem that i run on my team i run lockdown so since i have it maxed out I have lockdown on every single defensive player. It's 54 out of 50, so it's maxed out. I'm getting plus four catching, plus five zone coverage, plus four press coverage, plus four tackling, plus four play rec, plus five man, plus two awareness, and plus two stamina on every single defensive card. And I'm pretty sure there's even more boost that's just not showing. Um, but every single card that's locked down on it is getting that boost. So if you put a chemistry on your whole team, it's going to help you out a lot. Uh, definitely do that. And then there's like a third or a second chemistry that is really expensive if you just got the game you shouldn't be worrying about this right now but when you do have extra coins and extra training you can equip one of these uh, i have sprinter on just plus two acceleration minus two strength minus two agility plus two speed on my whole team and then their abilities so abilities they're gonna help you in game uh superstars aren't as helpful as x factor i mean superstar abilities are more helpful than x factors x factors you have to do a certain thing to unlock them and then uh they turn on for a little bit but these are just all the time so just go through read all these whichever ones you want uh cost training to do uh, i'd go through whatever benefits your team throw it on i run acrobat on all my players on defense and then i just uh run a couple other things just to fill up ap ap's ability points you can use 12 uh since today there's 12 ap on both sides of the ball and then now going through this uh where is mutt master so you guys are gonna get a sam mills card when you first get the game so mutt master progression there's all of these things you get coins you get power up so you're gonna get a uh, collectible every time you every time you complete one of these every time you get the collectible you're gonna want to go straight to your sam mills card throw it in he's gonna keep getting better as you complete these you're gonna get a lot of coins for doing them so just go to your mutt master make sure you finish all these and are we're working towards doing them because it does help out a lot and then mutt dedication you can go to mutt level uh as you level up you're gonna get rewards uh there's store there's store rewards you can pay for that i i do um it gives you a ton of coins just pick the platinum the quick sell card every single time you do a store reward sell it get the coins invest and in, get a golds or get a players that's something else i'm gonna go into make sure you guys are leveling up and then also there's level challenges like level solos where are they uh we're gonna go down here um level challenges make sure you finish these you're gonna get an andre johnson when you first get the game too as you level up make sure you're doing your level challenges and then it's gonna give you um increases for the andre johnson so as you level up and do the challenges he will get better he's a really good receiver to start your team off with if you are consistently upgrading him and then something else that is a way to make coins obviously you can you guys can look up sniping videos uh to see best ways to snipe um, I'm on PC, so my market's way different than consoles, so I don't really want to give sniping tips for people who just got the game. But uh, one one thing that you can do is there's these get a player packs in the store. Only 500 coins, uh, 81 plus is 5.4%, 75 plus is 32%. So you can spend 500 coins and sell basically anything you get out of it and make small profit. And and you can even, like, let's open one and see what it is. See, what are we going to get? Dude, like we open one get a player pack and we pull an 81 hayden hurst 500 coins we can sell them for a couple thousand that's profit right there so you guys can just do that um open these packs sell them uh i would stay away from sets if you just got the game sets are really expensive to do like or sets that are worth it so i would stay away from store packs too if you're gonna do packs do get a golds or get a players if you just got the game 
Uh, then once you do your solo challenges, your team starts getting better. Then you can move to online. And if you win seasons, you're going to make a lot of coins doing that. So that's some ways to make coins, ways to start off your team, uh, how chemistries work. Abilities are not really something you want to get into if you just got the game. You want to like work on the foundation of your team before you're investing coins and training into abilities. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I would do if I just got the game. I would knock out those uh, zero chill solos. I would knock out the the 50 solos. You're going to get a free 93, and then in a couple days, you're going to get a free 96. So I got to do my the 50 challenges so I can pick up that uh, Deion Sanders or Michael Vick card that I want. But yeah, that's what I'd do. Zero chill, the 50 level challenges, uh, do your Sam Mills, get a player packs. Uh, all that stuff is just insanely huge to starting off your team. If you... If, if, like these are just big solos to like if you just got the game you have so many non-auctionable cards that you could just pick up just that are high overall it's like how many could you get so if you really want to like do the math on this and see how worth it is because these these challenges don't take long to do like you could probably knock all of them out in one day so we're no not solo challenges we want to go to um the zero chill factor where's it at it's taking so long to load <clears throat> all right chill factor so nat snow beast that turns into a 93 93 overall zero chill player that's a 93 84 to 93 you guys are gonna pick a 93 that's another 93 92 to 94 goes to man player that's four and then 92 to 93 that's five that is five free 92 plus overall players that you're gonna get from doing these solos and then you get snow as well you're going to get snow, you're going to get free dope uniforms, you can turn that snow, you could uh, re-roll that in the store, you could pick up another snow beast and get him half done, pretty much. So you basically get five or six very usable cards to start off your team. Knock out those solos, do the 50, you're going to get two really good cards on that, and then boom, you're already like a high 80 overall team. And you just got the game. So knock these out before they're gone. Uh, I hope this helps people out who just got the game. I don't know how many views it's going to get. Uh, because I feel like most of my audience is already like established in the game. They don't really need like a tips video. But for you guys who just got the game, let me know if this helped you. Uh, let me know how good your team is if you did the solos and who you picked and stuff. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I think I went through it pretty good. It's like a guide to start, start off your team if you just got it. But... Let me know if I didn't. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in the next video.